This is a legacy program and it is a three week training and skills development program for young people in East Belfast aged 18 to 24 who are not currently in full time education or employment. We realise that there is a real challenge for young people now in getting employment, um, especially with everything that's going on in the last year and we wanted to try and create some way to bridge the gap between education and employment for those young people in the local area. We also wanted to use the Conswater Community Greenway as a resource to do this. So some of the training and skills that we've included are things that are really specific to outdoor roles, things like bike maintenance and walk leader training, to try and show those young people that there is a possible career path um, for them in those areas. But also some of those skills are transferable to any other career really. And we've also included some general training, so things like health and safety, world host training and personal development, just to make sure that they're better equipped to get into employment. I've definitely gained some new skills uh, so I have I, 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 and I think that's me now feeling like the, like I definitely can go out and like volunteer more I, 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 and like that's, a de that's me definitely learn more about the like jobs and stuff that, that I can do and I think overall I think it's just, overall it was just good fun so it was. We've been seeing the group kind of building confidence over the last couple of weeks. We definitely saw that there was low confidence within the group. One of the positives of having the Collins Water Community Greenway as a resource for training is that we can get young people and others outdoors getting active, which is great for their mental health and physical health. Um, under current restrictions, that's obviously been a challenge for us. And most of our program has been online. So today we've encouraged the group to get down to Orangefield Park and do some virtual orienteering. This is something that's been developed by Orienteer and NI who have created an app and you can download an Orienteer map and walk around the park uh, and actually really get involved in orienteering whether that's by yourself or in a purr or in a bubble so we thought this is a really good opportunity to get the group outdoors um, and try something new. So this is the first time that the group will have met in person having done the first two weeks of training on Zoom. Some of the things we've been doing on Zoom have included personal development sessions um, which have been great for looking at CV building and interview skills. We've also done employability sessions as well so a lot of those have been really easily adapted for Zoom which is fantastic um, and the people who facilitated them have put together programmes that are really interactive and engaging even when being online. We hope to then follow that up whenever restrictions ease and kind of do a next step in a lot of those sessions outdoors and do some practical in-person activity as well. I think it's really important to build back up that confidence and that social aspect that has definitely been missing over the last year and will be a real issue um, for people trying to get um, the next step in employment or education because if you're lacking in confidence you're, you're going to find it much harder to go for a job. This programme has been designed in um, partnership with the East Belfast Community Development Agency and the Youth Practitioners Forum. It's been really useful over the last few months to get their insight into what young people really need out of a programme like this, um, what would be the best way to structure it and put it together, and some facilitators that would be really useful uh, for working with young people. So we've had a great time um, working with those guys and we really couldn't have put it together without them. Um, I'm involved in the Legacy Project. It started off by um with someone from the YI group I volunteer at and that, who actually introduced me to it, asked me if I wanted to do it. I said sure, because I thought it would be a good learning experience. Mm -hmm. And it has, I've learned a lot for CVs, this is actually something I could put onto it. Um, a lot for my personal development, uh, different skills as a volunteer in general, uh, as a walk leader as well, thanks to the walk leader training. Uh, this has been an overall great experience. The reason we named this programme the Legacy Programme is because we don't want it to just finish after this three week training. Um, we would like to keep working with the group for the next few months and maybe even up to a year. Um, whether that's getting the group together at a later stage to do fun outdoor activities or maybe it's researching into other development and training programmes that we could put um, together for the, for the group to kind of get some more practical on the job experience that will help them going forward.